So here's our uh, epic view. A blur, absolute blur. Gotta go pick up the puppos. They're uh, a well, lot you know, this is my go-to. So we kind of spilled the beans a little bit. This is why van travel. Oh. We actually leave again on Thursdays. Are you guys vlogging? Like one amazing perk about this hotel. That's definitely a sight for sore eyes right there. Oh, bl Hey there guys, Kyle with Being the Dunes here. Today, we are back in Amarillo, Texas. We, we did our show yesterday. I'm gonna divulge the details in this vlog. We didn't film yesterday, absolutely insane, hectic day. So we opted not to film, kinda did our show first thing in the morning and drove right back here to Amarillo, Texas, where we spent the night here at the uh, Dreary Inn and Suites. Let me, uh, we gotta head out, but let me give you a quick little room tour. So here's our uh, epic view right here of the of Interstate 40 running west right there, uh, right through the heart of Amarillo. You might you can see our little dreary inn and suites there. Theodore, uh, it's all got his all all his doggy wear packed up. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. I'm tired. It's just been a long drive. The show was a, a blur, absolute blur. Um, so yeah, I'm just ready to be in my bus. But yeah, it's 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 definitely been a long couple days. So we got a two queen suite here so we have the two queen beds here got an uh, older uh, flat screen uh, LE, uh, lg television there nice open uh, bifold or quad fold quad fold it must be a bifold Probably bifold bifold <laughs> not that it matters got a uh, bathroom here tub and shower action there actually took me a little shower in the, there this morning and soaked for a bit all of our trash we did the one good like one amazing perk about this hotel is they actually fed you last night. So from 5.30 to 7, they have uh, different every day of the week. So last night was taco night, so they had nachos and all that stuff. But yeah, it's got a little kitchenette here, and we did, and they also do serve a pretty decent breakfast in the morning. We got a nice desk out here where I edited the, edited the previous vlog. And then here's another living room right here. It's got a pull-out bed where Benjamin slept. And then, uh, of course, another another television here. So actually a really nice room for the most part. Definitely need to... All in all, though, nice place. Really nice folks. And I really love the uh, the added bonus of the uh, the food, like at night especially. All right, guys, let's roll. We got everything. I grabbed all the chargers, cables, everything I saw. I think we should be in pretty good shape. All right, so now we're actually going to, we gotta go pick up the puppos. They're uh, a few miles down the road at the, as you guys know, the Good Dog Pet Lodge. Because they're good dogs. They are good dogs. Yeah, we were supposed to get them at 9 a.m. I ended up having to edit a little bit more, so I called them up. And they said, yeah, no problem. Come pick them up whenever you want. So a um, pretty cool spot. So uh, we'll head over there and grab the pups. Oh man, it feels lovely out here this morning. I got a little little cool front road that run through West Texas yesterday. It is beautiful out here this morning. Not even, you definitely tell the air's a little drier and uh, it's definitely much cooler. I looked this morning when I got up, it was 45 degrees and more in New Mexico when I got up this, me this morning. So I'm definitely ready to get back home to the land of enchantment. So uh, here's what we're working with. Like we've got, we we did some shopping, and the kids have just been throwing their crap in the back. Organize all this so we can fit two more dogs in there. I did. I was able to get it a little more organized. So like like we did on the way here, I'm just gonna put their bed there. Got all the luggage moved to this half. Weezy and Kevin should be able to lay there relatively comfortable. We're about we only got about a four hour drive today, and we'll be back to the bus. But well, we did make it back to the Good Dog Pet Lodge here. I'm, I'm pretty excited to see our puppers, Chico, Eloise, and uh, Kevin. Kevin. Excited to see little Chiki. Yeah. Kevin! Hi! Well, it's a, it's a packed <laughs> car. It is loaded down. Wheezy down, baby. You gotta you get down. You guys sit on your bed, wee wee. You gotta get down, girlfriend. <laughs> okay, I gotta. This isn't. This isn't gonna work. We gotta. We gotta fix this too. Uh, we want to do a. Uh, vi uh, let's say venti. Large uh, iced americano with oat milk, and then a large. What's it called, Molly? Electric berry. 
electric berry uh, drink with lemonade. Yeah. With lemonade. Please. With lemonade, yeah. yeah. Our, and a bottle of water. Eight, oh, and a bottle of water, sorry. Bottle of water, yes, yeah. Please. That is ten ninety nine today. Would you like to use your balance on there? Please. Is that preferred tip okay? That'll work. All right. What's y'all's channel? Uh, do you have a sticker? Oh, yeah. Good morning. Uh, hi, how are you? All right, there you go. Okay. Are you guys vlogging? Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys traveling? Yeah, we are. We, we travel full time. Oh, Not in this, but we're in it today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a bus. Yeah, we have a bus. Uh, next. Well, we went to Fort Worth, so we're heading, we have a place in New Mexico. Oh, nice. Yeah, here you guys go. If you like some stickers. Oh. That's our YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, we live and travel full time in our bus. Yeah, cool. Very... There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good one. Thanks a lot. Bottle of water. Did you get that? Hey, give me the bottle of water. Okay, okay cool. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I feel good this morning. You, you feel very good this morning. Your energy's great. How's your coffee? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love it. It's good. I love you. It's like a wiener schnitzel over there. It's yeah. wiener schnitzel. It's a hot dog stand. Mm. Yeah, now we got to make the four hour and three minute 200 and 50 mile drive to Northern New Mexico. Whoa. Turn right onto East 20th Avenue, East Interstate I'm Drive. Strong. Okay, this sea of black is not the ground, friends. That sea of black is cows. That is a sea of black cows living in muck, waiting to go. Is that where they go for the stockyards? Yeah, they gather them there and they load them in trailers. <laughs> and it's gross. It's just, yeah. It's just, I mean, I get it. I'm not against people eating meat, beef, whatever, but that's you like... You could do better. Like, that's just gross. Like, like they live in pure in poop. Black is amazing. Yeah. It's, and it's, it's actually nice today, but the other day when we drove through here, it was almost 100 degrees. And they're packed in there like sardines, man. I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I'm not in the business of it, but I, I think you could do better. I just think it's kind of inhumane a little bit. Yeah, if you're going to eat the animal, you may as well at least make its life decent while it's alive. Because that's pretty gross. I think they can do better. Woohoo! Almost back to New Mexico. I see the woo -woo. land of a chip, but I absolutely love their, uh, what would you call this? An entrance sign? Archway? Archway. <laughs> Archway gateway. to the, yeah, gateway to the land of enchantment. I love that. I, I, this is the only state that I can recall that I've ever seen something like this. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, down in the comments section. Is there another state that you can think of uh, that you enter that has such a unique Grand. archway? Welcome to the land of enchantment and mountain Welcome time zone. New Mexico. Two of my favorite Woo! things. I love mountain time zone. Yeah, That's think, my favorite. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. I, I definitely agree with that. Oh, yeah, I love their sign too with the uh, hot air balloon on there. Aww, we'll be going there this October. No, I, I, I definitely can agree that mountain time zone, I feel, it just feels the best to me. Because when you're on the West Coast, complete West Coast, California, the three hours is, I feel like it's very different. When you, then the two hours when you're on the because we do everything in east coast time as far as our content goes yeah so it's just i don't know it's a big difference can i point something out these are my favorite clouds what are they called i don't know what they're called but puffy, they puffy white gray clouds maybe a cumulus nimbus i don't think the cumulus nimbus i think it's the storm clouds yeah. well those look a little those look a little, a little storm actually. yeah no these are like these remind me of the toy story clouds so, and they're just they're just my favorite not like seriously we're about to buy gas and we can't use the bathroom yeah that kind of sucks there was no public restrooms and kyle was going to fill up with fuel but we definitely are not going to be that's the whole point of a travel place have a gas station to pee all right so we're going to try this again i'm pretty sure loves to come through more so. <laughs> i think so They'll let us use the bathroom if we buy fuel. I gotta pee. But they have Chester's, Godfather's Pizza, and Arby's. The kids were saying um, they were hungry. The bad part about doing car travel as opposed to bus and van travel is that we don't have our food with us, so we have to rely on gas station meals. Great for a vegetarian. Oh, good stuff. Oh, hello there. Kevin, lay down. Kevin, down. You're staring at my Caesar salad because uh, I forgot to show you lunch. Your uh, love struck stop Caesar salad. My. I mean, that's gourmet AF right there. Yeah. What did What did you guys end up getting? Arby's. What'd you get at Arby's? Taste the meat. Taste mm. the meat. And some fries and mozzarella sticks. Yeah. Kevin's wondering where his is. Ooh, Kevin. A Chico check-in. Here's Chico. He's. Uh, I gave the 
dogs the chicken off of my Caesar salad because it was a chicken Caesar salad. <coughs> yes, I asked Beck. Molly, you didn't ask me. Hey, give me mine back. We have more cheese sticks. This New Mexican landscape is just, ah, oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna seem not just flat. Yeah. But seriously. Look at these mountains. I love it here. I absolutely, oh, I love it here. I have to focus on the outside making me happy right now because I really cannot control what's happening in the back seat, short of violence. Oh my god. We are not about that kind we're of parenting. Gonna, we're going to be going back to see Dr. Phil if we yeah. post this video. <laughs> well, this is a familiar sight. <laughs> so we're passing through Las Vegas. I want to had a roll into Walmart real quick. So it is Monday. No, I'm sorry. It's Tuesday. We are here today and tomorrow. And we actually leave again Thursday. So I do get to get a couple things for dinner, a couple snacks. <sighs> Hopefully to get us through the next couple days. So I'm going to be doing some chicken bowls tonight. I actually need some uh, black beans. I'm a little flustered right now, so I'm not doing so great, but I do need some black beans and a couple other little things. But a lot of you know, this is my go-to. I usually stock up every once in a while. I usually buy three or four at a time. That way I always have them on hand. Lately, I've been getting jalapenos on everything, and I, I've always loved them, but they've always kind of messed my stomach up. But they haven't really been bothering me lately, so I'm going to pick up my first jar. I've actually never bought a bar, jar of pickled jalapenos, so kind of uh, excited to try these on my bowl tonight. Grab some cilantro for the cilantro lime rice tonight. It'll work. So we are gonna do stir fry tomorrow night. So I'm trying to pick up a few veggies for that. Grab a uh, zucchini maybe. Probably have to get some organic. Organic zucchini. Oh, I guess that'll work. That quick uh, 10 minute grocery trip turned into uh, 101 bucks. I got socks. Oh. I'm thinking that if I <clears throat> sit down. All right, Theodore, you're gonna have to, sorry, buddy. Sorry, it is such a car full with all the puppies. This is why van travel a little easier for a menagerie. All right, who has room back here? Okay. No, Daddy's laptop case. It's da are we protecting that? Okay, glad with all your heart. Um, I got I got two more of those little bralettes that I like. <laughs> and then um, this is chicken. Okay, uh, we'll have to figure out where we're putting that. Oh, it feels good to be home. Yeah, that, that's definitely a sight for sore eyes right there. Oh, Blue Betty, I'm so glad to be back to you. I do vote, however, for an electric gate. I, uh, the clam is still standing. All, all the things are still good. The puppers are so excited to be back. It actually just started raining. It's kind of gross. I, uh, it's 65 degrees here, people. 65 degrees. Much different than it was in the great state of Texas. Okay. Whew. Well, I, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but we have made it back from Dallas, Fort Worth. What a heck of a three days. Man, oh man. But... If you've seen the last video, we kind of spilled the beans a little bit. We did go on the Dr. Phil show. Um, they contacted us a couple weeks ago and uh, asked us if we wanted to do it. It was a very uh, fast process. Like within a week, we were in Dallas um, from when they contacted us. So it was exhausting to drive all the way to Dallas. We can't bring Blue Betty because Blue Betty has clutch issues. She has other mechanical issues. And we didn't really want to bring the van on this trip because we were going to board the dog, which hindsight, I would have rather had the van because the Jeep is really confined. 
nonetheless, it was a uh, taxing few days, but honestly, I think we're pretty glad we did it. You know, it was uh, kind of one of those once in a lifetime opportunities and uh, I'm, I'm glad we did it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the last couple of videos. Kind of a, like we said, a really insane week, but we're home for two days uh, and then we're back. We're getting back in the van and we're on the road again. Uh, another adventure, another filming opportunity. So we can't wait to tell you more about that one. We can definitely spill a lot more beans about that one. But yeah, yeah, guys, thanks again for being here. You know, the support means the world to us. And um, we'll see you guys here in a couple of days as always. And uh, we love you guys. Take care of yourselves and each other and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye. Love you.